catch, baby. Catch, oh, she caught. Here she comes. on the ceiling. He said that's about it. We're out of here. He ran out of his way. wondering why I didn't get a better shot of rolling that over and it's just the cutter does not like to be recorded and he's always messing around with us but he doesn't like to be on camera he doesn't want nothing to do with it so therefore I, I don't get the camera out um, in situations like that that is the first time I have ever pulled him over um, in the 10 years I've been working here, 9 years I've been working here. I've never had to pull them over. That's the first time. So this ground is really bad. So it's, and I, I was talking to him, he said he couldn't get the tree out of his head. It wouldn't let go. So she was stuck in there and he said he actually walked the door down when it was rolling over. He just kind of started walking with it. So it wasn't bad. He didn't get, he hurt his foot a little bit, a little bit when he went to get out the door smacked him if you ever run equipment you know what that's like with the door so that's about it he doesn't like to be recorded so i didn't get a whole bunch of great footage i could have had some really cool footage but and i could have got you know a couple gopros out and got the drone out and did some big epic scene but <laughs> he doesn't want to be recorded so i didn't do it but uh yeah interesting but uh, today was just one of them busy 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 days it was uh we're skidding a long ways. I am just about out of fuel. That's how much fuel I got left right there. So this will probably be my last bundle because I'm a ways back in here and I do not want to run out of fuel because there is some hills. I don't want to run out of fuel and then have to bring a five gallon bucket. You know, but I think we're completely out of fuel to be honest. Both fuel tanks are empty and yeah I'm going to do this last bundle. I'm out of here. Josh chipped all day today with no heat in the cab. His heater hoses went out again yesterday, and he didn't fix them yesterday. And I wasn't, I wasn't, we were, neither of us fixed them. So today he was up there awful cold. And the end of the day, he was kind of to the point of being really, really, really cold. So I said, do you want to do it? And he goes, he didn't really want to do it. So I'm like, I'll help you. So I kind of did the majority of it. He was cold. To be honest, he was really cold. So he got him. Got its heater hoses fixed today. The chipper should have heat tomorrow. <laughs> it was like, it was cold today. <laughs> he was all bundled up. Anyways, that's pulling that buncher back over. And he was running within 10 minutes. So, 
he was cutting down more trees and yeah it's been one of them days this it, this ground is just awful cradle nolly bumpy holy not pretty so thanks for watching hit the buttons do whatever you want to do and as always just keep rolling yourself back over so thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time on another installment of that chipper guy who knows what will happen out here it could be anything <laughs>